Hello everyone and welcome to Kansas. This state is well known for growing wheat and I'm certain that most of you have seen a combine in action. Wait a minute, that combine was not in Kansas, Dorothy. Actually, it was in Thailand and belonged to this lady. Her name is Lut, but I always refer to her as the Combine Sister. She is one of these older sisters and was the first in the village to buy a Combine for about a 30,000 bucks many years ago. She then hired a crew to run and maintain the machine and was busy every year during the rice harvest combining for other farmers. The Combine Sister sold it a few years back to relax at home. However, we often put her to work at George's Pizza during the holiday. Remember this movie? I can still remember the excitement of watching it as a young boy. This classic film was set in the Tornado Alley of Kansas, and I'm certain that you remember this scene. <laughs> Ties also love scarecrows and they are scattered throughout the rice fields and gardens. And for someone without a brain, I guess they help out. When comparing two places, one must look at the similarities and the opposites. This choice of snacks is one that I bet most Kansas folks would not enjoy but many ties do. Let's travel back to 1874 when grasshopper plague hit Kansas. History says that the swarms were so thick they would often cover the sun for hours and cause millions of dollars worth of crop damage. Thailand does have some serious insects, but I've never seen a grasshopper infestation. I think it's because they are scared of being eaten. You can buy a big bag for less than 10 cents. And look what I found in front of the local Tesco, Kansas. <laughs> Even people who live in Kansas enjoy George's Pizza. Instead of chowing down on insects, how about a pizza? The pizza we eat now has been around for a very long time. Centuries ago, people would put toppings on a piece of flatbread simply because they didn't have any plates. Eventually, as time went on, this dish was called a pizza, but why it's called that, nobody really knows. Some people say pizza, some say pie, and others call it a pizza pie. Pizza covers several important food groups. It has grains from the crust, milk from the cheese, meat from the toppings, and vegetables from the sauce and toppings. Eaten in moderation, pizza is rather healthy. Now, many times, people often have heated discussions about what or what should not go on a pizza. Personally, I'm pretty open about anything on a pizza except ketchup. The main problem around here is that the locals love smearing it on their pizzas. It ain't right. It just ain't. surprising fact about Kansas is that Pizza Hut started here in 1958 by two brothers, 
Six months after their launch, they opened up a second outlet, and within a year, they had six Pizza Hut restaurants. I can still remember some of the old commercials. You may not be thinking about pizza first thing in the morning, but at Pizza Hut, we're thinking about you. We know a place where you can get a thin and crispy pizza like this. That's right, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, there's a lot of good things under our roof. Remember this menu? I was probably around 10 years old when I had my first taste of pizza. It was the thin and crispy, which at the time was Pizza Hut's original style. And just for fun, take a look at the red stick the chef is holding. Do you know what it's called? It is called the pizza pill. We place the pizza in the oven with the wooden pill and then use a metal one to cook the pizza. I'm not a chef, but I do know what a good pizza should taste like, and I've done my best to copy the taste that Pizza Hut had decades ago. Give us a try. If you don't like my food, you'll get your money back. That's my personal guarantee. Our pizza is the best in Thailand. If you don't like it, tell George. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Nebraska.